Dr. Raj Shaw from Math Plus Academy, and today's math treat is called Five Rooms. Now, last week I did a treat called Seven Bridges, and this is very much related to that problem. Students loved the Seven Bridges and wanted me to do something very similar, so I'm back with another one that can be thought of in very similar ways to the Seven Bridges. Slightly less famous problem, but also very interesting. Here, you imagine yourself uh, with five rooms, but like on a floor plan, top-down view, and every single wall segment has a door or an opening either to the outside or to an adjacent room. Now, in this case, I have 16 openings, and I already have a math question, which is, could I have guessed that there were 16 openings just by the structure of two rooms up here and three rooms down there? I don't know. That's actually an interesting math question that I'm curious about already. But the question I'm here for you today to try and figure out is, can you draw a path that goes in or through every opening exactly one time? Okay, so let's try. Let's say we decide to start, I don't know. And so the challenge here, so the challenge here is to try and draw a path that goes through every opening exactly once. And you can start in any room or you can start outside and work your way in and through. Um, and that's it. Those are basically the only rules. So I might try something like this. Maybe I'll start over here and I'll just go straight through and uh, hit all four of those openings. And then I'll wrap around and come through like this. By the way, it's okay if I cross my own path. It's, this is problem is all about which openings do I go in and out of. Uh, wrap back around through there and through here and through there. Let's see, now I can't come out this way because I've already used that door. So I'll go up and out and through and down. And now I am stuck. I have used up the other four doors and my path comes to an end. And I've done pretty well. I've hit 15 of the 16 openings, but I missed that one right there. So I have not solved this five room problem. So of course you can imagine the, the challenge here is going to be to find a path that does this, that can get you through all the openings exactly once, or prove slash convince yourself or someone else that it is indeed impossible. And if it's impossible, then you have to know why it's impossible. It is not enough to say, well, I did it a couple times and I couldn't figure it out. Not good enough. Mathematician needs proof. So come up with a reason why this can never be solved, if indeed you think it can never be solved. Now, as we often see with these kinds of problems, there's a lot to keep track of. You have to draw many versions of this or erase a lot and try all these different things. It's going to be very confusing or can be very confusing to keep track of all that. So what I often recommend, and I will recommend here, is try a simpler problem. So get rid of this after you've played with it for a while maybe, and try something easier. So let's make a new house. And in our new house, we'll make one room, just like that. And every wall will have a door. Boom. Now, can you solve this? Let me see. Uh, let me start inside the house and go out and in and out and back in. Well, okay. I guess that was pretty easy. Problem solved. Now I will try a more complicated house. Maybe I will tack on another room. In this puzzle, every wall has to have a door in it, so I need to make some doors. There we go. And this path that I've used before is not going to help me because there is now no way to leave that room. So I'll erase that. Say goodbye to that one, and I'll try again. Let me try what I tried on that first one. I'll just go straight through, get all those, come back around, hit these two, come back around, hit those two. And once again, I'm done, problem solved. So that wasn't so bad. Now I'm wondering, could I close some of these walls or add a room somewhere that would make this not solvable? Can you make one that can't be solved? Let's see, what if I add another room I'll just add a big room on the bottom and then I'll have to add a door here in the bottom and on the side and on this side. 
So let me give this a shot. Now here I've got, this room has four doors. This room actually has five. One, two, three, four, five. There's a little boo-boo there. Let me fix that. So then we, then we just try this, see what we got. Then let's just pay attention to what we have here. We have a room with four doors, a room with four doors, and this room now has five, so that's a little different. And I will try starting outside again and go in and around and through, back around. Okay. Well, oh, I think I may have, I think I may have solved that. So, so far so good. So now I'm starting to wonder, is there a way to make it where there's three rooms that you can't solve? Is it always solvable with three rooms? What happens when I get to four rooms, five rooms, and so on? So as always with mathematics, there's so many different things that we can think about and new puzzles that we can create from the original one. It's one of the reasons I love math. So try this, remember to try the five room problem, break it down into some simpler ones and just come up with as many rules and ideas and questions as you possibly can as you try and explore this puzzle. And if you do that, then I promise that you will be having fun with math and that is always the goal. As always, please just have fun playing with math.